Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, like uh, uh, intensity of complex compounds. That means absorption of uh, complex compounds. So based on the absorption, we will uh, we will discuss it about uh, like a spin as well as a uh, Laport allowed as well as forbidden transitions. Allowed forbidden transition. Before going to the topic, uh, now the reasons uh, uh, for the allowed and forbidden transitions we will discuss very basic level. Now some of the complexes which uh, appears like a pale color some of the complexes which appears a pale color again some of the complexes which are, which appears like very thick color very thick color that means a uh, thick means a uh, more intense color more intense color here less intense color okay the more and less intensity of the color of the complexes was uh, was explained by using the molar absorptivity molar absorption and spectroscopy now so more intense color that means uh, height of the peak is more height of the peak is nothing but intensity so less intense color that means uh, height of the peak is very less so here it is more intense color more intense color here is less intense color less intense color so the more intense color which is nothing but a thick colors uh, due to the more intensity that means uh, the absorption will gives the thick color but less intensity which gives the pale color okay so the more intensity is caused by the allowed transitions so which is nothing but uh, allowed transitions so the less intensity which is caused by the forbidden transitions which means uh, forbidden that is nothing but not allowed not allowed so due to the not availability like a uh, like molecular orbital theory is bonding and anti bonding now here it is more intense means allowed color so here less intense means uh, uh, forbidden or not allowed color so based on the allowed and forbidden colored we will classify the complexes like thick complexes pale complexes that means uh, more intense complexes uh, less intense complexes so uh, by uh, by using the allowed and uh, spin allowed and uh, uh, forbidden transitions we are used uh, Okay, with the help of two terms, one is a spin as well as their azimuthal quantum number, we will uh, easily uh, observe those uh, pale and thick color of the complexes compounds. Now, one is a spin selection rule, another one is a Laporte selection rule. One is a spin selection rule, another one is a Laporte selection rule. With the help of these two selection rules, we will classify it. So, which which complex having the which type of a transition, say either a more intense transition or less intense transition. Okay, we will discuss that very clearly. Okay, let us go through the first one is a spin selection rules. Spin selection rules. So now the first one is a spin selection. So let us take the example. So uh, let us assume I have a D3 complex, D3 complex that means chromium plus 3, chromium plus 3 H2O color. So it shown like uh, some uh, pale color. So if electron transition may be occurred, so from T to G level to easy level, that means ground state to uh, excited state, ground state to excited state. Now here the electron jump to the easy level. That means here electron transition takes place. Electron transition takes place. So during the electronic transition, both the energy levels, now it is one energy level. So it is one energy level from ground state. It is another energy level from excited state. So during the electronic transition, both the energy levels, both the energy states having same spin multiplicity, having same spin multiplicity. Let us check whether it is okay or not, whether it is same or not. Now here three unpaired electrons, that means three by two. Here three unpaired electrons, that means three by two. Okay. Now the change between the initial and ground and final state, that means final minus initial, three by two minus three by two, that means zero. Okay, here delta S is equal to 0. That means here 3 by 2, here 3 by 2. So here spin is 3 by 2. Spin multiplicity is 2S plus 1. Here 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1, 4. Okay, so here also spin multiplicity 4. Here also spin multiplicity 4. Now the electronic transition easily occurs. Easily occurs. That means delta S is equal to 0. So during the electronic transition, during the electronic transition between the two same spin multiplicity energy levels spin multiplicity energy levels are called allowed transitions or 
allowed transition okay now so the electronic transition may occurs uh, between the two same spin multiplicity which is nothing but spin allowed transition spin allowed transition okay so but uh, some of the complexes which is shown uh, like a uh, spin forbidden let us take the another example so which is nothing but a uh, d5 complexes which is nothing but a uh, d5 so here so d5 means this is the electronic configuration 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so if electron may be transfer takes place that means a uh, uh, t2g level can jump to the eg level so let us take a uh, 1 2 3 4 okay now here this electron may be jumped over there so here electronic uh, uh, arrangement is electronic spin orientation is upward okay so if it it may be uh, it is also present over the upward spin direction. Pauli's rule cannot obey. Pauli's rule cannot obey. That's why, so here it opposes their uh, spin orientation. It opposes their uh, spin orientation. Now here, S is equal to 3 unpaired electrons. That means 3 by 2. Here, S is equal to uh, 5 unpaired electrons. That means 5 by 2. Okay. So the change between the uh, initial and final states are... 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2. Whatever it may be, either uh, 3 by 2 or minus 5 by 2 or 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2. Now here it means uh, 2 by 2 which is equal to the 1, which is equal to the 1. So delta S is not equal to the 0. Delta S is not equal to the 0. That's why these transition, these transitions are not allowed. Not allowed means uh, forbidden. Okay. If spin states of both energy like ground to first excited state, uh, ground to excited states having the same, then it's said to be allowed transitions. Otherwise, it's said to be forbidden transition. Otherwise, it's said to be forbidden transitions. So now, finally, we conclude the a simple representation of a spin selection rule of uh, complexes. That is nothing but delta S is equal to zero. Then it is allowed transition delta s is not equal to the zero then it is a forbidden transition then it is forbidden transition now we'll go through the another another transition okay so that is nothing but a laporte selection rule that is nothing but a laporte selection rule so according to the laporte selection rule which is which is nothing but a electronical dipole selection rule electronical dipole selection rule before going to the uh, uh, laporte selection rule now we have to uh, basic idea about uh, spdf orbital okay so s orbital is a spherical shape that means it is it having the center of inver center of uh, inversion if any system having the center of inversion then it's shown the like symbol zero okay p orbital that means it is a uh, plus and minus both uh, both are opposite charges are opposite ends are not equal then it's said to be unzeroed okay in case of d it is zeroed f is unzeroed okay so here s is zeroed p is unzeroed d is zeroed f is unzeroed okay so this is nothing but a parity rule which is nothing but a parity okay based on the parity rule okay now if electron may be transferred uh, uh, electron uh, transition takes place s to p p to d d to f that means uh, z to u u to z okay u to z that means z to unzeroed unzeroed to z those are allowed transitions are you clear okay so if electronic transition takes place z to unzeroed unzeroed to z that means uh, center of inversion inversion center to non inversion center okay uh, no, non inversion center to center of inversion center if it may be same priority that means unzeroed to z z to z if uh, like th this type of transitions are forbidden transitions this type of transitions are forbidden transitions forbidden transition now so this uh, allowed and forbidden transitions can also explained uh, with another form that is nothing but uh, azimuthal quantum numbers azimuthal values azimuthal quantum number values so now we know that uh, s p d f z those are terms s 1 2 3 4 Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. If S to P means L is L value is equal to 0. S to P means like a, here 1 minus 0. L, delta L is equal to 1. Okay, is it right or wrong? So, delta L 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. If D to F, if D to F, that means uh, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Here it is D to, uh, D to P. So, if F to D, F to D, delta L is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, so if uh, are quite opposite uh, f to d means d to f that means we will get minus one uh, p to d means we will get minus one okay so either delta l is equal to plus one or minus one then it is allowed to transitions so we have discussed the same thing uh, as above okay that means uh, zero to unzeroed s to p 
into D, D to F, that means 0 to 2, 1, 0, 1, 0 to 0, 0 to 1, 0, those are the allowed translation. So, those, that means S to P, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, okay. Now, here delta L is equal to plus 1 or minus 1, then it is allowed transition, okay. So, delta L is equal to 0, then it is forbidden transition, then it is forbidden transition. So, this is regarding to the Laporte selection rule. This is regarding to the Laporte selection rule. However, so here two types of selection rules are there. One is uh, one is a spin selection rule. Another one is Laporte selection rule. But uh, some of the some relaxation is shown by the some of the complexes. Okay, that means even though uh, some of the complexes which which having the spin forbidden as well as uh, like Laporte forbidden, it shown some of the plus uh, like a uh, very less intense color. Okay, so that intense color was explained by the relaxation of these two rules. Relaxation of these two rules. Note these four points very clearly. If delta L is equal to zero, spin allowed transition. Delta L is equal to plus or minus one then it is called uh, uh, Laporte allowed transition. Laporte allowed transition. Now we will go through the relaxation of uh, spin selection as well as Laporte selection rule. Relaxation of the spin selection as well as uh, Laporte selection rule. Spin selection as well as Laporte selection rule. Now the relaxation of spin allowed transition. Some of the complexes it shown the spin forbidden, but it it having the like a uh, less intensity of color. But mean, that means uh, it shown some of the color. So that some of the color uh, which explained by the some relaxation of a spin selection rule. Relaxation of spin selection rule. So here relaxation which is nothing but a spin orbit coupling. Spin orbit coupling. So here the spin orbit coupling of a. Uh, uh, spin selection rules was explained by the like the uh, 3d and 4d 5d transitions okay so generally 3d transitions having the lesser strength of uh, lesser strength of uh, spin orbit coupling lesser strength of uh, spin orbit coupling now here it having the more strength of uh, spin orbit coupling more strength of uh, spin orbit coupling here generally spin orbit coupling increases the strength of the spin orbit coupling increases for increasing the their atomic number their atomic number that's why here 3d 4d 5d series having the more strength when compared to the 3d transitional elements when compared to the 3d transitional so due to the spin orbit coupling it shown the sum of the color so of 4d and 5d series is more intense 4d and 5d series more intense than 3D inter 3D transitional metal elements, 3D transitional metal elements. So this is the uh, relaxation of a uh, uh, spin selection rule. This is the relaxation of spin selection rule. That's why here 4D and 5D transitional elements uh, which have which act as a strong field against every ligand which act as a strong field, but it's shown the very very strong color of 4D and 5D transitional elements when compared to 3D. Now we'll go through the like a uh, uh, relaxation of a uh, Laporte relaxation of uh, Laporte selection. So here. Uh, relaxations. So before going to the relaxations, no, now we will discuss about uh, like DD transitions, like uh, DD transitions. So now let us take the D3 as an example. So here one electron, two electron, three electron. So D3, whenever electronic transition occurs from T to G level to EZ level, so here the spin is the same, but uh, the electron transfer from D to D, that means delta L is equal to 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. That means it is Laporte forbidden transitions. Okay, according to our previous discussion, Laporte forbidden means it, it doesn't show the color. It doesn't show the color. But uh, whenever he, uh, the DD transitions, uh, all are shown the sum of the color. DD transition will show the sum of the color. So that color was explained by the relaxation rule. Let us uh, let us go through the DD transition. Generally, DD transition means uh, T to G to EZ. Okay, in octahedral, like EZ to T to G, sometimes uh, maybe it is emission. Okay, so here uh, E to T to or T to E are the DD transitions, are the DD transitions. Due to DD transition, so transition metal complexes, it shown the color. So according to the Laporte selection rule, it is Laporte forbidden. Undoubtedly, all the DD transitions are Laporte forbidden, but it shown the color, but it shown the color. So that color was explained by the relaxation rule. Relaxation of Laporte selection rule. So generally, the relaxation of Laporte selection rule we will discuss very basic level also, uh, very basic levels. Now here it is a um, uh, complexes. Now we incident some of the UV visible radiation. So now whenever UV visible light incident on sample, so uh, which is a uh, appears two types of uh, observations one is electronic transition from lower energy to higher energy level another one is vibrations 
here electronic transitions uh, another one is vibrations so here generally both electronic transitions and vibrations occurs simultaneously so due to the vibration of ligand so generally metal having the uh, inversion center so whenever ligand approaches to the central metal atom so this vibration of ligand will leads to will destroy the uh, inversion center of the d element so now we have discussed in previously s p d f so here s is equal to like a S is equal to 0, P is equal to unzeroed, D is equal to 0, F is equal to unzeroed. That means D having the inversion center. So whenever the vibration of ligand which destroy the uh, uh, zeroed, uh, that means in, in inversion center of the D elements, uh, now it leads to the sum of the ligand P orbital, metal D orbital transition, PD transition. So PD means uh, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. That means Laporte allowed transition. Laporte allowed transition. So now in case of octahedral complexes, a part partially allowed PTD transitions occurs due to the vibration whenever we send the sum of the UV visible radiation, UV visible radiation. So which is uh, observed in P2D transition. Generally, uh, D, D transitions are not uh, pure Laporte forbidden. Pure Laport forbidden. Somewhat uh, it is uh, allowed with a uh, Laport rule from P to D transitions. Whenever in case of uh, like a tetrahedral complexes, now we discuss the tetrahedral complexes. So Laport selection rule only, not the spin selection rule. So in case of tetrahedral complexes, that means uh, here the absence of Z. So there is no Z. That means no inter uh, no uh, uh, inversion center. So due to the unavailability of Z term, due to the unavailability of uh, Z term, so here P to D transitions are more pronounced. P to D transitions are more pronounced. That means uh, if more pronunciation of a T to D P to D transition, it shown more intense color, more intense color. So that's why tetrahedral complexes will uh, appears uh, very intense than octahedral complexes. Maybe question frame like that. So which which is more intense color, either tetrahedral or octahedral? So tetrahedral which uh, part which uh, allows P two D transitions more than that of uh, like D D transitions. Okay. Now uh, now we will discuss the, some of the uh, selection rules which is more intense. So some of the more intense selection rule. Now the first one is. So these are the Laporte selection rules. Now we will go through the some of the uh, intensity rules. So first one is, so okay. Before going to that, uh, before going to that, we will discuss the both spin as well as uh, uh, Lap uh, Laporte allowed uh, example. Now we will discuss one of the spin as well as Laporte allowed example. After that, we will go through the some of the table. Okay. Now let us go through the MnO4 minus. So here Yemen. Yeah, many has zero oxid zero oxidations plus seven oxidation state. That means uh, non uh, non availability of electrons. Now here P having the uh, pair of electron that means that sent to the central metal atom. That that is called ligand two metal charge transfer spectra. Okay, here electronic transition occurs from P to D. P to D. P orbital of oxygen to D orbital of magnesium. Here delta L is equal to two minus one. That means plus one. So here Laporte allowed rule. Laporte allowed rule now here oxygen electrons so the pair of oxygen electrons uh, can can jump to the uh, like a d orbital of metal metal electron here the pair of electrons uh, the total pair of electron can jump to the d orbital that means uh, here uh, it retains their spin multiplicity it retains their spin multiplicity here one upward direction and another one is downward, downward direction that means uh, delta s is equal to zero now here also one is upward direction another one is uh, downward direction that means uh, lower and higher energy level having the same spin multiplicity here also delta s is equal to zero that's why it is a spin allowed transition okay so if both the spin as well as laporte allowed transitions uh, that having the very large intense in color large intense in color so this large intense color was observed in case of charge transfer charge transfer spectra only charge transfer spectra only sometimes they are asking about uh, which one is more intense color either charge transfer or a dd transition absolutely charge transfer is more intense in color uh, due to the both allowed transitions uh, but in case of dd transition tetrahedral or octahedral tetrahedral is more color when compared to the octahedral due to the unavailability of a zeroed term so that means uh, uh, now, uh, uh, due to the absence of uh, inversion center, uh, due to the absence of uh, inversion center. So uh, now, finally, I'll give the, some of the rules uh, regarding to the our discussion. So the first one is CT trans uh, CT transitions uh, more intense than DT transitions. Is it right or wrong? Is it right or wrong? 
okay so now the ct charge transfer transitions is greater than that of dd transitions now the second one is tetrahedral complexes dd tetrahedral complexes of sorry simply dd transitions of tetrahedral more intense than dd transitions of okay octahedral is it right or wrong so it is also right okay now the third one is so third one is generally 4d and 5d transitions 4d and 5d transitions more intense than 3d transitions 4d and 5d transitions more intense than 3d transitions now the fourth one is like a laporte forbidden's laporte forbidden more intense than spin forbidden more intense than spin forbidden here it means more intensity it is less intensity why because laporte a laporte forbidden which allows the, uh, like a yes, p2d transition so p2d transition so some of the some of the times it, it, it having the like a partially allowed that why it is more it is more intense when compared to the spin forbidden now we will discuss the a table regarding to the uh, laporte as well as the selection rules either it is allowed or forbidden what will happen with the different five cases now we discussed the uh, more Molar absorbance of various electronic transitions. Molar absorbance of various electronic transitions. Now let us go through the first one Laporte selections. Now spin selections, whether it is allowed or forbidden. Okay. Now the type of spectra, type of spectra, whether DD or CT. Now here the molar absorbance range, molar absorbance range. So epsilon units, L mole inverse, centimeter inverse. Now here examples. Okay, so now we'll take the uh, four different lines. Okay, so the first case we will discuss the five cases. Now the first case, if both are allowed, both are allowed. We discussed uh, uh, previously. So if both allowed a transition, that le leads to the CT spectra. Which is spectra? CT spectra, CT spectra which having the more intensity that means absorption will give the more intensity peak, more intensity peak. Now here the range is 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 4. So CT transfer absorbed okay, MnO4 minus Cr2O7 minus 2 like a cadmium sulphide, HZ sulphide. Those are the examples of a CT, a CT spectra, CT spectra. Now the second case is if it is a part, partially allowed, partly allowed. That means uh, some of the mixing of PD orbital, PD mixing orbital. Now here it is uh, allowed, spin allowed. So it is partially allowed, it is uh, spin allowed. That means uh, tetrahedral complexes, cobalt Cl4 minus 2, tetrahedral complexes. So tetrahedral complexes will, will pronounce us more uh, PD mixing, will pronounce us more PD mixing. That means P to D transitions. So here is uh, uh, originally D to D transitions, but here somewhat uh, PTD mixing is takes place. Uh, here DD transition, now the range is 10 to the power 2 to 10 to the power 3. After the CT spectra, tetrahedral complexes will show us. Tetrahedral spin allowed, Laporte uh, partially allowed transitions will show more absorption more absorption now here pd mixing pd mixing now third one is if it is forbidden it is allowed okay spin allowed laporte forbidden transition so that is nothing but a simply dd transition simply dd transitions of octahedral lower the lower element if atomic number increases then pd uh, like a uh, spin orbit coupling increases now here that's why i'll take the very lower atomic number 21 okay now here the range is 8 to 10 8 to 10 so molar absorbance absorptivity 8 to 10 it is also dd transition it is also dd transition now the fourth one is if it is a uh, partially allowed partly allowed that means uh, some mixing of a PD orbital. So if it is a spin is forbidden, spin is forbidden. So here also spin forbidden means uh, like a MN plus 2. But uh, whenever they are uh, giving the information about PD mixing, that means it is a tetrahedral complexes. Tetrahedral spin forbidden means a uh, DFA configuration. DFA is a spin forbidden. So, but a PD mixing means it is a tetrahedral complexes. Okay. So tetrahedral partially allowed a spin forbidden transitions or a DD transition, but it's on 2 to 3 molar absorption, ab absorptivity. Here, MnCl4 plus minus 2, FeCl minus 3, FeCl4 minus 3. Those are DFA configurations with a partially allowed character. Now, the fifth one is both forbidden. Both forbidden spin forbidden as well as uh, like uh, it is also a d to d transition the best example is 
octahedral Mn H2 over 6 times plus 2. Octahedral Mn plus 2, here it's on 0 0.12, 0 0.2, 0 0.12, 0 0.2. So, this is the molar absorptions, uh, absorbance of various transitions. Now, here, Laporte allowed, spin allowed, it, it leads to the CT spectra, that means more intense in color. So, partially allowed, that means PD mixing, that is, that is nothing but tetrahedral complexes. PD mixing, spin allowed transitions of uh, uh, DD, is it's shown uh, like a more intense, but uh, which is lesser than that of uh, CT spectra, which is lesser than that of uh, CT spectra. Spectra. Now here, forbidden transitions uh, and uh, spin allowed transitions of DD. So of uh, uh, simply it is a DD transition. The best example is lower lower atomic number of uh, uh, transitional elements. Now here it is partially allowed. Whenever we listen about a Laporte for partially allowed, that means PD mixing in case of uh, tetrahedral complexes. That's why, why because it's having the non-availability of uh, inversion center. Now here we observed uh, some of the intensity. Some of the intensity. Now here the fifth one is forbidden. Uh, both are forbidden. On DD transition that is nothing but uh, MN plus 2 okay so this is the uh, various absorbance of uh, various electronic transitions so we will discuss the, some of the problems uh, in uh, either next video or uh, continuation based on the video length okay thank you for watching